Hello, my name is Václav Hapla and I work here in Ostrava at IT for Innovations at VSB Technical University in Czech Republic. And I'm here to introduce you to PETC, which is a framework, software framework for scientific computing. So if you are ready, follow me. So we, here we have an outline of the tutorial. It will have five basic parts. Uh, the first part will be an inter introduction to Petsy. Then you will see some Hello World program. And uh, finally, I will introduce you to uh, vectors and matrices and uh, solution of linear systems. But we will start with very general principles and firstly discuss why to use a software framework. A software framework is some software product which provides generic functionality that can be effectively changed by the user code. There are software frameworks for numerical computing, but the fact is that uh, they are quite rare. There is only few of them. From my point of view, there are two most well-known frameworks for numerical computing, and th they are Trinos and Petsy. Uh, the advantage is that they allow focusing on your specific know-how, your added value, while not reinventing the wheel and bothering with standard algorithms like conjugate gradients, LU factorization, or sparse matrix vector product. But I will co cover only Petsy in my talk. So what is Petsy? It is a building box for scalable parallel solution of scientific applications. It abstracts high-level mathematical objects like matrices that are easier to handle than row arrays. For example, three arrays of the CRS format, which you know represents sparse matrix. Petsy is coded in C, but usable also from C++, Fortran, Python, or Java. Uh, Petsy is quite highly portable. It was tested on all important operating systems from iPhone to top class super supercomputers like Sequoia in the US. It is also very open. Everyone can download it, uh, use it, subscribe to mailing lists, and eventually contribute to the project. And uh, here you can see the homepage address. I will cite here Petsy founder Barry Smith, who said about Petsy that uh, developing parallel non-trivial PDE solvers that deliver high performance is still difficult and requires more months or even years of concentrated effort. Petsy is a toolkit that can ease these difficulties and reduce the development time but it is not a black box PD solver nor a silver bullet. Here I will introduce hierarchy of components of Petsy. Firstly, uh, it leverages low-level routines from MPI Blast and LAPAC. The first tier of Petsy are data objects like matrices, vectors, and index sets. Above them lie classes for linear system solution. Further, we can see that there are also nonlinear solvers that are called SNES, and ordinary differential equation solvers called, or time steppers called TS. 
and you build your user code on top of it all. Parallelization takes place only, only here, only on the first level of objects. How is Petsy parallelized? It is parallelized mostly using MPI, which provides low-level routines to exchange data primitives between processes. Petsy provides mid-level routines, particularly for all the linear algebra, for instance, altering matrix elements or sparse matrix vector product. You can call MPI routines directly if needed, for example, to obtain process rank. Petsy allows having uh, the same code for sequential and parallel use. It supports also hybrid parallelism, which is so popular these days, but it is still kind of bleeding edge. There are plenty of interesting applications that use Petsy, from acoustics to some, for example, survey, surface flows, real-time surgery, magma dynamics, fracture dynamics or structure mechanics. Uh, one of great advantages of Petsy is a broad variety of external software products that use Petsy or that Petsy uses. Uh, here we can see some packages that are interfaced by Petsy categories from sparse direct linear solvers to mathematics packages like MATLAB or Mathematica. And here you can see some packages that make use of PETC. So this is the end of the first part. Thanks you for your attention and it's now time to answer your question eventually. OK, another question. Is it a problem for me to run PETC without parallelism or without MPI itself? No, it is no problem because you can compile PETC uh, completely without MPI only for sequential use. OK, thank you. OK, so after a short break, we will continue to part two, which is devoted to Hello World program. Thank you.